new EDMs, new motors, new processors, AI-powered algorithms, next-level automation, 25 measurements per second, a new Captivate version, and finally the great connectivity now between site and the office that really works. Leica TS20, let's have a look. It's built in us. The need to explore, to define what's out there, to put something on the map, knowing it's right. It takes skill, courage, and countless hours in the field. And when it's done, it stands monumental. A new landmark, a legacy. The Leica TS20. Every day doesn't come with perfect skies. It comes with new conditions, new pressure, new stakes. Like you, the Leica TS20 was born to perform in the thick of it all. With proven robustness, it keeps going when the elements push back. AI-powered automation helps catch mistakes before they happen, so every point you measure and stake out is right. With advanced hardware, ever-evolving software, and cloud connectivity, it's not just ready for the day ahead, it's ready for everything that comes next. From the first data point to the final layout, the work you do becomes the world we all build. Like a TS20, be accurate, be confident, be trusted, be ready. I don't know how you feel after this video, but I got actually goosebumps. Great video like at the S20. Uh, what I want to show you today actually is a couple of clips made by Leica. They're going to be Pascal. I met her actually at Intergeo and she will tell you uh, more about TS20 with me adding some comments to it. So let's go. Hello everyone. My name is Pascal Spiriger from Leica Geosystems and today I will introduce you to the Leica TS20. The Leica TS20 is all you expect from a Leica robotic total station, but even more than you can imagine. One of the things that makes this total station so special is the fact that all of the features are new innovations. So to give you an overview, we can group them in three categories. In terms of accuracy, reliability, robustness and quality, it's everything you'd expect from a Leica total station and you're familiar with. Besides this base of the well-known quality standards, we of course also improved and enhanced the features that you wished for. The TS20 has brand new, super fast and quiet motors, no external radio handle anymore, an IP66 rating, the GMI01 module which connects it to the internet, and an integrated theft deterrence, to only name a few. But now listen, because there's even more. The Leica TS20 is the first ever total station having an NPU chip, giving it a super brain to get AI functionalities to life. More about that in a later video. The TS20 is all about being ready, not only for the challenges the day ahead might bring, but also for what the future holds. It's a true powerhouse that makes you significantly more productive in your daily work. To explore the TS20 in detail and discover what makes it truly unique, we invite you to watch the following video series. Yeah, so as you could see, there's quite a lot of changes now, quite a lot of innovations. Everything is new actually in this TS20 and uh, we're going to dive a little bit uh, more into it. Just I think the main message is like powerhouse, it's, it's your partner really in the field. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's have a look at Pascal again. In this video, I want to introduce a brand new and truly powerful functionality. Earlier, I mentioned that the TS20 is equipped with an NPU chip. NPU stands for Neural Processing Unit. This chip is designed to handle huge amounts of data in neural networks, quickly, efficiently, and directly inside the total station. Now you might ask, where does AI meet surveying? From my own experience as a surveyor, I know how easy it is to get distracted and forget to switch to prism type. A small mistake, but one that can cost you a lot of time and money. And this is exactly where the TS20 steps in. Thanks to the new AI detect functionality, it automatically detects the prism type for each measured point, checks if it matches your settings, and immediately alerts you if there is a mismatch. 
That way, you can correct the mistake before it even happens. But that's not all. Because the MPU chip is already built in, we can continue to develop entirely new features as surveyors' needs evolve and simply bring them to your TS20 through software updates. Altogether, this makes the TS20 the right total station for today and the one that will grow with you into the future. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, this is where that AI uh, comes from. This is a new uh, cheap, really, NPU unit. And the really big thing about it is that target recognition. So it's not really more uh, mistakes. You're going to choose the wrong prism and uh, actually the TS is going to tell you uh, you're using the wrong prism type on the settings and it asks you to change it. So this is a good, great thing, really. Uh, I don't need to tell you really how easy that mistake was uh, made before. And then once you forget about it, you just you can keep going all the surveys everything wrong. I had a best example from my career was a couple of hours spent uh, on the reactor building and the Hinkley point job where the engineer was using the wrong prism type and it was like a couple of hours really few hours of uh, whole team uh, didn't know what to do just uh, was asking just, just check your prism type and that was the one. So uh, great thing this is definitely where AI going to be helping us uh, in serving in setting out and let's have a look at the next one. In this video, we will talk about Leica Captivate. Working with Leica Captivate and your existing field controllers and tablets means you get consistency with your previous equipment. Thanks to the improvements of the Leica TS20 and the latest Captivate release version 10, you can now do more and work more efficiently. When it comes to data collection, you have powerful tools right at your fingertips. You can apply detailed coding information as you collect data, producing CAD-ready results in real time. Coding and line work routines ensure that every point you measure is correctly tagged and identified and every line you create carries the right information. Even complex shapes as circles and rectangles can be measured quickly and accurately. Advanced features like automatic code switching, creating offsets and manually extending or editing lines mean that no matter the situation, you can create accurate visual 3D data live on site and instantly verify if it matches your expectations. Of course, there are also many times where the data already exists digitally and you have to stake it out in the real world. For that, Captivate offers extensive support for common industry formats such as DXF, XML, DWG, DGN and IFC. You just attach your design data to your Captivate job and you're ready to go. Let's take a look at how that works. Captivate's 3D Viewer helps you inspect your data, understand your model and plan your work. The snapping feature lets you select the exact point, edge or even surface that you want to use and immediately apply it to apps like stake point or stake line. So there is no need for manual import because Captivate handles the data for you, ensuring both compatibility and traceability. While staking, Captivate extensive customization options put you in control. You can tailor the graphics, the sound and the information fields that suits your environment, helping you to stake efficiently, create traceable and repeatable results and even generate quality assurance documentation as you go. So as you can see, this is that new Captivate version, version number 10. And uh, it's really like uh, something new, but giving you that old uh, nice impression. So if you use uh, CS20 before with your Captivate software, you're going to know how to use it very well, but at the same time, it uh, gives you really more functionality. Uh, that home screen is also uh, better now with all apps. You don't need to just scroll that carousel uh, anymore. It's really nice and clear. And I think it's actually great uh, not bringing like completely something new that you have to learn again and again. It's just uh, you're going to know how to use it once you use it before. But at the same time, you're going to be using like uh, new software, really. Let's have a look now at that connectivity and the GeoCloud. In this video, I will introduce you to GeoCloud Drive. Over the past couple of years, we have seen a massive change in the importance of data and especially its availability. We all know that feeling. You arrive on site, ready to get at work, and then you realize you've forgotten your USB stick or SD card. And even if you haven't, USB sticks can be lost, stolen or corrupted. With GeoCloud Drive, that's no longer a problem. The TS20 can connect to the internet through its built-in GMI01 mobile data device, which comes with two eSIMs. This lets you access your GeoCloud Drive project anywhere, download all the data you need, 
and upload and share your field tasks and results instantly. GeoCloud Drive is the cloud platform that seamlessly connects the field and the office. You can access your data in many ways, through the web app in any browser, directly in Windows File Explorer using the desktop app, on all your Leica Captivate and Leica instruments, and also in Leica Infinity. With GeoCloud Drive and the TS20's internet connectivity, you're always ready for whatever lies ahead. It gives you the agility and adaptability you need to succeed. Yeah, and that's exactly what we are looking for, that connectivity finally working really between your office and site. So you can actually, once you're on site in the field, far away from the office, you can actually jump in there, uh, just take your data from the folder, and there you go, you can start working. So this is great. Uh, years, years ago, I think we were looking for something like this, but it didn't work. Uh, it meant to be TopCon really, and that magnet field uh, never really worked. But this one now, it's for us and th this is definitely going to be useful. This is a big change and this is actually seems to be working finally very well. In this video, we will talk about the TS20 variants. To meet different needs and requirements, the TS20 is available in several variants. You can choose between models based on angle accuracy and reflectorless distance measurement. A class 2 laser measuring up to 800 meters or a class 3R laser measuring up to 1,600 meters. The TS20 also comes in three different versions. The TS20A with automatic aiming, the TS20P with power surge and relock features, and the TS20I with powerful imaging capabilities. The new 20 megapixel overview camera delivers outstanding imaging quality not just in daylight, but also in challenging environmental conditions. It opens the door to many useful features. You can stream a high quality video from the TS20 to your field controller and even overlay it with your 3D data in real time. You can document all your measured points and you can capture a full dome HDR panoramic image in under three minutes. And with the calibrated camera images, you can even calculate coordinates directly in Leica Infinity. But there's even more. From my own experience as a surveyor, I know how easy it is to get distracted and forget to change the prism type. A small mistake that can cost you a lot of time and also money. That's why the new AI Detect feature is such a game changer. It automatically identifies the correct target type and warns you instantly if your settings don't match. So yeah, you could see there are going to be a couple of variants of TS20 coming out. But I think here in UK, we're going to have a TS20i and that's going to be an option for us. And also, as I mentioned about the new EDMs, uh, this comes as a 800 range and 160 range. This I think you can choose here in UK between them two. And there are also going to be obviously difference between uh, angular accuracy. You're going to be starting from uh, one second. The AI detect feature, uh, which is great, uh, I mentioned before, and uh, also uh, if you notice that uh, nice bug there, now we're going to be carrying your total station on the back. This is great. Uh, there is also uh, batteries now where you can actually change how much left uh, on the battery itself. So this is uh, finally we're going to get it with Leica now. Now let's have a look as this instrument is rated IP66. And in this video, we will talk about the IP66 rating of the Leica TS20. You know, I don't really like water and rain, but obviously the TS20 doesn't care because it has an IP66 rating and it makes you ready for whatever condition the day might bring. Be survey ready, even under these conditions. I think that's fine. Enough? That's enough. Yeah, so we could see it uh, looks like TS20 is not really afraid of water. But uh, obviously, I want to check uh, the connectivity as well between the total station and the prisms, how this both going to be working uh, in the hard conditions, really. I got now information now from a couple of my friends who actually tested uh, in the field and we're inside environment and it works really great. And obviously, all this uh, AI was trained before. I think that was in Wales, actually, where the weather was uh, really bad. There was that misty rain, rain, fog. They were actually teaching the instrument how to recognize that prism, how to make sure uh, you're not going to be losing uh, the connection, you're going to be not losing the lock really in that hard conditions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Leica TS20. We've explored the features, the power and the possibilities. And now it's time to put it all to work. Built to perform today, designed to evolve tomorrow. 
The TS20 isn't just an instrument. It's your partner in precision, speed and confidence in your daily work. From all of us at Leica Geosystems, thank you for watching. To learn more, get in touch with your local sales representative or visit us online. Yeah, so that will be all I think, guys. Uh, and uh, what I really like also about this Total Station, it's actually still a Total Station, so it's not some uh, robotic instrument now with the AI doing all the job uh, for you. Now it's not going to happen. You need to be there. This is your partner, really, and it's actually future proof. So, uh, what they meant before about that uh, NPU unit, um, this is going to be learning and learning. So, uh, there are going to be probably new updates coming. It's not going to be you actually teaching the instrument in the field. Uh, there are going to be updates coming from time to time and actually getting your instrument even better. Obviously, taking the information from the people from the field uh, and doing it for us. So, that's what's great is actually the instrument done for us uh, what i really like about this as well is like simple things like that the uh, autofocus there uh, make it really easy and uh, like i said the battery then this is simple changes but that's what really you need in the field and all that ai now gives us uh, that extra checks really that's what we need we know uh, as a side engineers checking the double checking our works uh, is the main thing really and now we have uh, someone to back us up really and check uh, do that extra checks for us as well so i hope you like this video uh, and if so uh, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up to subscribe to the channel as said uh, there will be definitely more and there will be definitely more about the leica ts20 as i'm going to be getting uh, one of these instruments soon hopefully and i'm going to be actually testing this uh, in the field myself we're going to be going through that application on the captivate and uh, checking how the ts20 works in the hard conditions i'm going to be waiting for the rain see you